A, I was a park ranger. B, I knew exactly when I was bitten and I saved the tick and brought it to my doctor. C, I had a red rash. And D, I had a rather classic case of neurological Lyme disease with all the usual trimmings. I was working at a horse farm as a groom and I got bit by um, a tick. Had the classic bullseye rashes. I went from being a gifted athlete to there's times when I, it's hard to put a shirt on. When she first got sick, Linda Loeb's figured that she was just tired. As a working professional, she attributed her fatigue to her heavy workload. But her symptoms then got worse, much worse, with joint pain, dizziness, headaches, and muscle weakness. After numerous doctor visits, Loeb's was diagnosed with Lyme disease, an infection transmitted to people from ticks. In the United States, the disease has spread rapidly over the years, as has confusion over how to diagnose and how to treat it. Loeb's and others presented a seminar that informed residents on prevention and treatment methods. The Michigan Lyme Disease Association recently touched down at Southfield's Northwest Unitarian Universalist Church to present a special informational forum about what residents need to know about Lyme disease. Um, I typically go around and do education nights like this to help further education because if I can keep one person from every talk that I'm doing, prevent them from going through what I did personally, it makes it all worth it. And that's pretty much why we sponsor these events because if we can bring out education, we can teach people about proper tick removal, we can tell them that there is prevention, that in is itself is more effective than anything else. According to Loeb's, the seminar is a timely one because Lyme disease cases are on the rise. In the United States, it's quite common. There were over 35,400 and I think 68 cases reported worldwide last year, I mean, in the United States last year. And here in Michigan, there were 135 cases reported, but out of, under, out of those 135, after they meet the criteria, we ended up with 105 cases actually reported last year here in Michigan. But according to CDC, that's underreported by tenfold. So if you multiply that by 10, there you'll get your actual number of cases. Lyme disease is the second fastest growing disease second to AIDS. The seminar featured a movie that went in depth into the history and development of the disease, as well as available advanced treatment methods. It was started by a producer out in California who started attending a lot of the national con Lyme conferences that I had been attending. And he started interviewing Lyme patients and getting their stories. And he found out how controversial and how unique this disease was and how it doesn't affect everybody exactly the same. You know, you won't find two Lyme people with the exact same symptoms. You'll find similarities, but you won't find them with the exact same symptoms. So the more they investigated and the more they found out, that's how they got into doing this film. While the outdoors in some areas presents the threat of Lyme disease, Loeb's doesn't want people to become scared and stop going outside. She merely wants them to be informed when they do. I want people to still go outdoors and enjoy the outdoors. Just, I still enjoy the outdoors. I have deer in my yard. Um, people are under the misconception that deer are the problems. The tick does not get Lyme disease from the deer. A tick actually gets Lyme disease from a mouse and it gets it on its first blood meal. And so when a tick only has three stages of life and when it molts into each stage of life, it needs a different host. And typically the first host is a white-footed mouse. And if the mouse is infected, that's where the tick actually acquires the disease from. And then your deer, your birds, your squirrels, your chipmunks help transport those ticks into other areas. So just because they call it a deer tick doesn't mean that's exactly where the, you know, the, the tick gets the disease from. It's actually from a mouse. If you want to learn more about the Lyme Disease Association or about resources available to treat the disease, call toll-free 1-888-784-5963 or visit mlda.org.